Hello everyone, this is Fortress America, the uh, fortress and center for defending Americans' uh, electoral freedom. Um, if you're not subscribed so far, please hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the like button on this video. That's awesome, that helps me out and uh, keep helping me pump out these videos. I just like discussing these topics and uh, let's get down to the topic of today's video which is how the Daily Wire breaking a story in Loudoun County could shape and change the entire Virginia gubernatorial race and could and I'm going to show you guys how Glenn Youngkin could have a path with this scandal um, to beating Terry McAuliffe. So if you didn't know last week or yeah last week the Daily Wire broke a story about how Loudoun County school boards completely covered up a sex assault report having to do with the fact that they're allowing boys into the women's bathrooms and uh, a girl was sexually assaulted. A father showed up to a, a school board meeting and it was arrested and taken out and the mainstream media was all talking about, oh, look at this terrorist, this domestic terrorist. And uh, well, the Daily Wire dug even deeper. They went more into the story and they found out why this was happening, why this father was upset. And it turns out the whole school board was covering up these sexual assaults and uh, it's caused a big mess for the Democrats and for the establishment, especially in the education system. And uh, lo and behold, this happened in Loudoun County, a critical, critical county that Glenn Youngkin will have to rack up and earn some votes back if he wants to win the governorship in Virginia. So this is the 2020 election results. I'm going to break down how Glenn Youngkin could have a path with this scandal, with conservative outlets helping each other out, conservatives banding together exposing the truth could help him win the election and uh, creates real impacts uh, in the world. So the Loudoun County schools did not record multiple alleged sexual assaults over a period of years despite the state law. This is not good. This is bad news. This shows how corrupt our education system is, and especially in Virginia and these blue states. Well, they'll do anything uh, to protect their policies. They won't follow logic. They won't follow facts. They'll just cover up their policies because it helps them pander uh, to the leftist voting blocks, even it doesn't matter how many people get hurt or the logic behind it or the science behind it, they'll do it anyways just to earn votes from these leftist shills. And uh, so this school board has been covering up these assaults. This you know, this father was very upset over this and uh, they tried to keep it in-house. You can read all the reports here um, on the Daily Wire. They're the ones that broke the story. And uh, on this week's shows of like the Ben Shapiro show and the Michael Knowles show, they talk about uh, you know what went down in these school board meetings and uh finally a Loudoun county school board member resigned following this daily wire investigation so there's teeth to this investigation they know they did something wrong and they've been caught on it because uh reporters and news organizations on the right uh have finally you know manned up started doing some real reporting and exposing these hacks who are doing these uh horrible things on our school boards and uh representative chip roy blasts Loudoun county schools over daily wire sex assault report we need to fight this now absolutely so the best thing to do is get out there and vote especially in Loudoun County now this could anger people you know this is a suburb of DC of Maryland and this could really upset people in the area hearing about something like this so if we break down the numbers in Loudoun County Biden won by basically 20 25 percentage points or uh, 56,000 votes it only takes a little bit here and there in these large counties, a little percentage gain there, percentage gain here and here, and then in the for suburbs near Virginia Beach to start racking up the votes and seeing a path for Glenn Youngkin. So let's say in Loudoun County, you know, people are outraged by this. Let's let's just say, for example, that Youngkin's able to, you know, win close to half of the vote. Well, there's about 220,000 votes in Loudoun County. So he'd win 110. Well, that's a 20, 28,000 vote increase, a 28,000 vote decrease for Terry McAuliffe. Well, you start adding that to there. Okay, we're getting closer to 2 million votes. Now he's down to 2.38 million votes. Let's say that affects Fairfax and, uh, you know, Youngkin does better. He wins another 50,000 votes there. Okay, now he's at 2 million, 50,000. Now he's down to, you know, 2 million, 300,000. And you start to see the path in Virginia Beach and Prince William. So so you start to win back these counties, these suburbs who should be incredibly upset by this news that their school boards are just completely abusing their power and neglecting their citizens, um, you can start to see the path. And then the people in the rural areas will get outraged and will turn out in high numbers. And um, like I said, you can see the path there. I think that, you know, Yunkin, he's three points out. I think he'll lose by about three points. But if Republicans turn out in these areas, people are upset. They flip to voting Repu Republican for Glenn Yunkin. 
uh, things can change. I mean, Terry McAuliffe has been saying things like uh, parents shouldn't choose what's taught in schools. They shouldn't have any impact over it. And uh, that's just a ridiculous, asinine thing to say, of course. And uh, parents in the suburbs, they don't like hearing these things. And it might help them turn out for Glenn Youngkin. So this is proof that doing some research, doing some real reporting, it can have an impact. And uh, it could impact this Virginia governor's race. And if Youngkin's able to pull out the victory, well, they definitely, definitely have to give some credit to the reporting at the Daily Wire. So that is my report on the Virginia governor's race. Let me know what you think about the allegations, and I'll see you guys in the next video.